Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we'll be talking about areas between curves. In problem number 23, we'd like to find the area of the region bounded by y equals the square root of x over 2 plus 1 and y equals the square root of 1 minus x and y equals 0, which is the x-axis. Okay. So uh, I drew a little picture here. We've got our uh, first curve, we've got our second curve, we've got the x-axis, and the shaded region is what we're trying to find the area of. Okay, so what we would like to do is we'd like to look at this as a top function minus the bottom function. But we can't look at it as a top function this up high and a, top, a bottom function that's low we have to look at it as a top function on the right and a bottom function on the left. All right, so, um, so if we're looking at it that way, we have to look at these as functions of y, not as functions of x. So the first thing I need to do is I need to switch both of these. If I want to look at this as my top function, this parabola over here, and this is my bottom function, then it needs to look like x equals a function of y instead of y equals a function of x. So let's start out by just solving both of these guys for x. So let's look at y equals the square root of x over 2 plus 1. That's the same thing as y squared equals x squared plus 1 by squaring both sides. Then I get that y squared minus 1 is x over 2. And finally, I get that 2y squared minus 2 is x. Okay, so uh, this is one of my functions, the bottom function. Uh, let's look at the other. That's y equals the square root of 1 minus x. So if I have y equals the square root of 1 minus x, that's the same as y squared equals 1 minus x, which is the same as y squared minus 1 equals negative x, or that 1 minus y squared is equal to x. So this is my uh, function y equals the square root of 1 minus x, written in terms of uh, a function of y. So this is my top function when I'm looking at this as the top is on the right, the bottom is on the left. So this is my top function, this is my bottom function, and now I can integrate this with respect to y. To do that, I need to integrate it from a y value to a y value. The beginning y value is pretty obvious, that's zero. What is the y value up here? Well, if I want to know that, uh, again, there are a couple different ways that I could go about this. I could set these two equal to each other and then solve for y. That's one way to go about it. The other way is can I just <coughs> um, figure it out, so to speak? Uh, and what do we think that this y value might be? Well, possibly well, we know that x is 0 right there, so y might be 1. So if y is 1, we get 2 minus 2 is 0. And if y is 1, we get 0. So this just must be 1. Again, if you're not sure on that and you can't just figure it out in your head like that, just set these two equations equal to each other and solve for y, and you'll get that y equals 1 is one of the solutions. Okay. So uh, now that we know that this number is 1, we know we're integrating from a y value, which is 0, to a y value, which is 1. So if I want to find my area, then I want to integrate from 0 to 1 of the top function, which is this guy. That's this one, but that written in terms of a function of y is 1 minus y squared minus the bottom function which is 2y squared minus 2. 2y squared minus 2, all of that dy. Okay, let's rewrite this guy. Um, 
just clean it up a little bit before we integrate it. So this is zero to one of, okay, I've got a one <laughs> minus a minus two. So a one plus two, that's three. And then I've got a negative y squared minus two y squared. So that's minus three y squared dy. Let's take the antiderivative. We get three y, that's the antiderivative of three. And the antiderivative of negative three y squared would be negative y cubed. Uh, that's going to be evaluated from zero to one. Let's plug things in. Uh, if I plug in the one, I get three minus one. So I get three, and then if I plug in the one here, I get minus one. Minus, if I plug in zero, I get zero minus zero. So that's just zero. And so I end up with just three minus one, which is two. And the area trapped between these two curves is two.